and just like that. Drop it down. Barely get that sucker on bottom. And you got yourself a little fish. Nice little sauger. Very few. There's a couple. There's a couple important tools you're going to want to have in your arsenal when you're vertical jigging. But right here, I got my Saint Croix Legendly six foot three. All right, six foot three is the ticket here. The vertical jigging, shorter the rod, minimize the distance between you and the fish. You're going to fill that bite a whole lot faster. These little rods are going to be able to handle some of those heavy jigs you might need to run. Oh, see that? Oh. Just like that, they come in there and they smack it. Well, that never happens. There's a nice 20 inch sauger. Folks, we're down here in uh, Gavin's Point, Missouri River, outside of Yankton, South Dakota, and these suckers have been biting all day long. We got saugers, we're catching some walleye. I mean, you got now up until spawn. This this area has not been producing very good fish for the last few years. It's been really. Uh, It's been really tough with all the trash fish that have been back here. We gotta let that one go. That's a good 20, 21 inch sauger. Healthy, they're thick, they're fat. Uh, but until these paddle fish and all these other junk fish are gonna come up river, right now is a great time to be here. They're gonna be all the way through March, April, maybe even into May, um, depending on the river flows. But Del Races, Fort Randall, Fort Thompson, up in here, all great places to be doing some early season fishing. Get out there, get on the water when you got a couple nice days in a row, that's gonna turn that bite on. Those walleye are on the chomp. So what we're doing here today is this real simple slip drifting with the current. Just pointing your bow right up into the, into the current, setting your trolling motor speed to match the current speed. We're running at about 30%, I think, right here, drifting back at about a mile per hour or so, 1.5. Um, just matching that current speed, you're going to kind of go up and down sometimes when you hit little seams and little pockets. Uh, this is only about probably about a 100-yard drift at the most. Then you got to reel up and go back up. Because once you're not graphing any fish, it's time to move. Um, but you want to go ahead and try to, you want to match that speed best as possible. You can turn your boat sideways and just drift with it, but matching it is, is extremely important. And here's just a little look at, uh, what we're using. Now you got to use, this is a stand up Northland fireball, <clears throat> long shank jig. I love these stand up jigs. It keeps that bait up off the bottom. You can kind of see it sitting on my hand here. And that long shank gives you a lot of room if you want to put a plastic on it, add a grub to it. These fish really love having a grub on there. That's going to keep that thing in the strike zone longer as you pop it up and as it drops back down. But you're, you're running a quarter, that's a quarter ounce. You may have to run up to three eighths ounces depending on what's coming downstream. But you're going to need to match up that jig weight to the speed of the current. So faster the current, faster you're going to drift, the heavier you're going to need. If you're just starting out, go with a little bit heavier jig so you can keep that connection to the bottom. But the key is keeping that line straight up and down. You want to minimize that distance, just like I said with the rod, between the boat, between the rod tip and the fish. You're gonna fill that strike. So you get that quick hook set, and there you go. You're gonna catch yourself some nice little eater walleyes. about a wrap for today fishing was pretty good um, just a couple key features out here on the river up on these tail races is uh, look for the rocks when the sun's coming out they slid up into 15 to 17 foot and it drops off into the deeper stuff those rocks the water's warming up it came overcast they slid back down to 19 to 22 feet so 
Uh, just keep moving, keep marking them, trust your electronics, running some Hummingbird Helix 9s here, and they're showing up really, really well when there's fish, and uh, once it you only get about a 100 yard drift maybe, and once you ain't marking fish, it's time to move. Reel up, slide back up, and work it over again. So, a lot of good fishing to be had right now. Time to get out, get a line wet, have fun. <laughs>